Hi, it's me again with Railroad Tips and Tricks, and tonight I was just playing around with kind of a glow or a neon effect, and I'm going to do it a little bit different on the second one and maybe make it a little bit better. I contoured this one to the outside. I'm going to contour this one to the inside. So I'm going to grab it all. I, I just wrote a text. I'm going to go to the inside 0.35, and I'm going to get a little narrower line than I had before. Matter of fact, I like it because the V's kind of spread out. And then you need to kind of figure out how big it, you know, is. So it's it's uh, almost nine inches. So we're going to set our nudge factor on ten because I want to nudge some things out of the way. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the smart fill tool. And I'm going to go ahead and go with red again. And uh, I'm going to nudge. Take that and nudge it down. Take that and nudge it down. Take that and nudge it down. On those, we have to do both sides. And then you take this and take your, go ahead and take your smart fill of tool again and change it to a white. And then we want to do the inside this time. You can't see it because it's white, you know, a white background, but we need to, there on this one, there's four lines. We need to make sure we get them all four. And we'll see you that in just a second if that works. Then take this part of the font and go up to effects and go blur. And we're going to gussy and blur. We want to just blur that a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to call it okay. Now, because we have this, we can nudge that down and that white's going to go down in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click no outline. So it takes the outline away. But here's the kind of the keys to get this black background with a little bit of glow coming off, I'm gonna say the neon sign. So we're gonna take a, just a rectangle and make it whatever size you want and hit P. I'm gonna go ahead and nudge, I'm gonna go ahead and group these together and I can just nudge them out of the way. And then I'm gonna send this, uh, turn this rectangle black and then I'm going to get my interactive fill tool and I'm going to go ahead and go uh, fountain fill and I'm going to look around a rectangular maybe this time. Nah, you can try all your different effects, but conical is going to be your most, your best. Then just take a red and put it in that center. And what that does, it kind of fuses, you know, the red and, and you can play around with that uh, to the as long as you, you know, as much as you wanted to. Um, you could actually even take in this, I didn't do it on the first one, go to effects and blur, and we can blur that a little bit and see what happens. Move this out of the way. Kind of softens it up a little bit. I'm going to say okay. Our text is a little bit big, so I'm going to squish it down and then hit P. And... Hopefully it'll be on top of the page, but it's not. We're going to go to object, order, on a page. Takes just a second because there's so much going on. Pretty cool effect. If you printed that on a black t-shirt or just as a sign or printed it, and, you know, you could play around with the different, you know, this one I contoured to the outside, the other one I contoured to the inside, so it made it a little bit, thinner, uh, half one. You know, I think on the other one, I actually uh, blurred the uh, the uh, outline a little bit more on this one than I did on this one because the outline's kind of standing out. Uh, it is blurry, but not that much. But it does look like a neon sign effect, especially when you zoom in. I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.